Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of uterine polyps, also called endometrial polyp. Overgrowth of cells in the lining of the uterus, that is endometrium, leads to the formation of uterine polyps, also known as endometrial polyps. Endometrial polyps are a common cause of abnormal uterine bleeding. You can see the uterus, cervix, urinary bladder, and this is the polyp. On pelvic ultrasound, endometrial hyperplasia is characterized by homogeneous increase in the endometrial thickness in the majority of the patients. However, endometrial hyperplasia may also cause asymptomatic or focal thickening with surface irregularity which should raise is suspicion for malignancy. In some women, however, the overgrowth of cells becomes excessive, resulting either in flat or protruding growths called endometrial polyps or in a thickening of the endometrial endometrium cause called endometrial hyperplasia. Endometrial hyperplasia can lead to cancer if not treated. Now, women with atypical hyperplasia in a polyp were slightly more likely to have hyperplasia in the surrounding endometrium than those with complex hyperplasia. So, the risk of endometrial hyperplasia in a polyp concurrently involving non-polypied endometrium is significant. You can see is significant blood flow is seen in this polyp which raises the suspicion for malignancy in this polyp. Normally women naturally expel these endometrial cells during menstruation. In some women, however, the growth of cells becomes excessive, resulting either in a flat or protruding growths called endometrial polyps or in a thickening of endometrium called endometrial hyperplasia. Women with atypical hyperplasia in a polyp were slightly more likely to have hyperplasia in the surrounding endometrium than those with complex hyperplasia. So the conclusion is that the risk of endometrial hyperplasia in a polyp concurrently involving non-polypied endometrium is significant. The exact reason that polyps form is unknown, but swings in the hormone levels may be a factor. Estrogen, which plays a role in causing endometrium to thicken and each month also appear to be linked to the growth of the growth of the uterine polyps. Endometrial hyperplasia is a condition in which the lining of the uterus grows too thick. Endometrial intra Epithelial neoplasia, EIN, a precarious condition in which areas of the lining of the uterus growths grow too thick. You can see the endometrial hyperplasia in the distal portion of the uterine cavity. It is rare for the uterine polyps to be cancerous if they are, they are not causing problems. Monitoring the polyps over time is a reasonable approach. If you develop symptoms such as abnormal bleeding, however, then the hyperplasia should be removed and evaluated to confirm that there is no evidence of cancer. Uterine polyps ranges in size from a few millimeters, not larger than a seed, to several centimeters golf ball size or larger. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.